This book, A Thousand and One Comics You Must Read Before You Die, opened my mind to comics from all over the world and a rich history that goes back over 120 years. This video series highlights some of my favorites. Here you go. Here's a book I discovered when I was a teenager and I, I fell in love with it. It has influenced a lot of my sense of humor. It has influenced a lot of uh, my, even my artistic abilities. Um, this is Johnny the Homicidal Maniac by Jonan Vasquez. And before you go like, well, you like a comic about a homicidal maniac? Uh, you gotta understand that this is a satirical book about a poor disturbed kid who just kills people just for the heck of it. He, he battles a lot of demons in his mind and such, and he goes on random killing sprees. It is horrifically violent, it's horrifically graphic, uh, bad language, you name it. Perfect for a rebellious teenager like myself. <laughs> but you know what? It's very, very interesting. I think this book sums up the alternative comics movement throughout the mid 90s to the late 90s. And Jonah Vasquez actually went on to a very prominent career of his own, creating a cartoon called Invader Zim for Nickelodeon. Maybe you've heard of it. But this is where he got his start. He was only like 20 years old when he was doing this stuff. And it's raw, it's unrefined, it's just kind of like a stream of consciousness from a sick, twisted, deranged mind. You gotta check it out for yourself because it is pretty bizarre. Johnny the Homicidal Maniac by Jonah Vasquez from Slave Labor Graphics.